Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Carmen, and if you are new here, I make videos related to vegan fashion, vegan beauty, and anything related to being a vegan. So definitely subscribe if this is your thing. You don't have to be a vegan to subscribe. I just try to bring more awareness to awesome brands that are supporting the vegan cause. But again, doesn't mean that you have to be a vegan. So definitely subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and let's jump right in, shall we? Today's video will be a what's in my bag. I'm actually pretty excited to film this type of video because I love watching these on YouTube. I think they're so entertaining and I love like seeing what other people have in their bags and it kind of gives you ideas to have for things to have in your bag. So I kind of enjoy that a lot. So yeah, let's just stop talking. I'll stop rambling and let's get right into this. So it's in today's video, I will be doing a what's in my bag feat the share mini from angela roy so in case you don't know angela roy is a great company that makes vegan high quality luxury vegan handbags vegan leather handbags this was actually my very first purchase from angela roy and i completely fell in love with the company since then i've purchased two more bags and a wallet so I keep coming back I really need to chill out but she keeps coming out with all these amazing releases and I can't stop buying them so but yeah but this was the my very first purchase of the share mini it is the this nude pink absolutely gorgeous I'm not like a huge pink girl but I saw this color this shade and I was like I need this in my life so absolutely love it's so spacious for an everyday bag you can still fit a lot without the need to like carry around a freaking backpack or a huge bag i am a tiny girl so larger bags don't look the greatest on me so i think this is like the perfect size and this retails for about 220 if i'm not mistaken and the larger version retails for 240 i do want this version in black um i haven't decided if i want to get the bigger version just to have it um that way i can have like a smaller version or if i need to carry more stuff one day i can just take the larger version um but i am so in love with this size so i might just get the black version just in this regular size absolutely love so yeah so let's get into what's in my bag so the first thing that i normally have in my bags if it fits is a notebook i try to take this notebook everywhere with me i picked this up from marshall's for like four bucks the sticker is still there it was on sale and i was like this is, would be perfect to like jot down ideas for my youtube channel or for instagram and it serves that purpose i literally write anything and everything in here so i love carrying this around especially sometimes when i'm at work sitting at my desk and I'm supposed to be working, I will have a thought about like, oh, I should post this or I should make a video about this. And I'll just jot this down in here so I don't forget. I could do it on my phone, but I'm old school and I like writing things down on paper. The next thing that I have is a little pouch. In this pouch, I have a metal straw. I typically also carry like, um, forks and spoons just when i eat my lunch i don't have to use like plastic single use plastic i absolutely love carrying this around it's perfect my straw doesn't get dirty once i finish using my straw i clean it up and put it back in here the next thing i have is my angela Lori wallet absolutely love this this is the olivia e so it's just like an envelope type wallet you open it up and it has so much room it has two cash slots a middle zipper compartment for coins and i believe it has like 14 credit card slots if i'm not mistaken at first when i got this wallet i wasn't 100 percent like obsessed with it the color was definitely a grower on me and it seemed really big when i first purchased it when i first got it in the mail but now i'm obsessed like i typically will use this wallet for everyday use unless i'm carrying like a smaller crossbody then i will switch it out but love it i think it's an essential hopefully you guys can see great quality wallet vegan leather like what and then i have 
my set of keys i love my keychain hope you guys can see it's a little dirty it basically just says i own too much black which is absolutely true and this is also vegan leather i got it from Mali bianco if i can find um any of the things that i'm mentioning in this video like online i will have it in the description box below and I don't know if I can show this next item, but I'm going to keep it real, so I'm going to show it. Hopefully I don't get in trouble. I do carry pepper spray just because I live in Boston, I live in the city, and I just want to feel protected. So I do carry this at all times. The next thing I have in my bag are these two Pacifica Aroma Power. They're, they serve like essential oils basically. One is for stress rehab and the other is for just like energizing yourself when you're having a hectic day. I hope you guys can see that. But the blue one is for stress power. It smells like coconut. And I don't know if these actually work, but I like it. It's like a little me moment every time I use it, so. Mm, it smells so good. I normally just keep this in my bag, so whenever I feel stressed or when I'm super tired, I'll take these out, dab a little on my wrist, inhale, and I'm good to go. And then I have two like lipsticks and then a lip balm so i do have a her raw lip chapstick and this is a vegan 100 percent vegan absolutely love it it comes in the grapefruit flavor and i also have like a coconut and vanilla orange one but this is the one that i typically carry with me and then these two are from ColourPop. they're like their mini lippies the one that i'm wearing today is the aftershock in matte and then the second one is brink so absolutely love these and this needs to be closed but yeah absolutely love them i do have my headphones they are freaking mess i am the worst when it comes to headphones if you guys are the same way let me know in the comment section but my headphones are always tangled i really need to invest in like the wireless bluetooth headphones from apple but they're just so expensive I don't know if I can bring myself in paying that much for headphones and I feel like I will lose them actually I know I will lose them so that's one of the reasons why I stick to like these headphones but they're such a mess I also have hand sanitizer from jeez I also have hand sanitizer from Dr. Broner. It's just the lavender organic hand sanitizer. I think this is perfect. It's vegan, um, it's organic. It's a perfect alternative to, my cat is eating my headphones. Can you not do that please? Um, it's a great alternative to like the chemically filled um, hand sanitizer that you normally find in stores for like 99 cents. It's a little bit more pricier, but it's definitely worth it. And my cat wants to make an appearance, guys. Hi, Bippy. Hi. She always wants to like wake up when I'm filming. It's quite annoying, but I love her, so it's okay. But yes, it's a little bit more expensive than regular hand sanitizer. I think I got two of these on Amazon for like $11.99 I think I can't really remember but if I can find these on Amazon again I will have it linked below it lasts a very long time and I use it every day so very good I also have some random tissues I went to a college fair a couple weeks ago to represent the company that I work for and they were handing these out so I took one and then I have my sunglasses from Tiffany's my boyfriend got these for me for my birthday last year absolutely love they need to be clean but love these like yes love and then uh, let me see I do have a compact mirror I got these eight like, I got this like years ago from forever 21 it's just like a regular old compact mirror and the last thing that I have is this pouch. So in this pouch, I typically carry all like the mini essentials just so my bag isn't a hot mess. It still becomes a hot mess by the end of the week, but this just helps me keep like all my mini essentials in one place. So I know if I need something, 
I will just grab this bag and it's in here. I got this bag from Penrose. I ordered a couple of their like perfume wipes to try them out and it came with this pouch. So absolutely love. In this pouch, the first thing that I have is the Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Perfume. This smells amazing guys. I highly recommend. I got it from Target and I'm obsessed. Like it's absolutely wonderful. Love it. I also have a mini deodorant. It is the Kaya Naturals Detox Deodorant. I will be making a video on vegan deodorant shortly, so definitely stay tuned for my review on this. But I carry the mini version. And wow, I have another ColourPop lipstick in the cookie shade. Clearly, I'm not that organized. I also have hand lotion and I can't pronounce this, but I think it's Andalou, Andalou Naturals, and it's just basically hand cream. I really like this. It's almost done, as you guys can tell. I'm actually going to put some on right now. Hopefully my hands aren't ashy when I go back to edit this video. But I definitely like this. This particular lotion, A Path of Light, if I remember correctly, all proceeds are donated to, yep, it actually says it on the bottle. So 100% of the net profits from this A Path of Light purchase supports women and girls' equality and improvement, and it's the scent and lavender. I'll be honest, when I first received this lotion, I did not like the scent at all. I thought the lavender scent was very overwhelming, and I was like, I don't know if I want to use it, but the more I use it, the more used to the scents I get. I don't know if that's necessarily a good thing or a bad thing, but I like it now, so there's that. I also have a couple wipes from Box Naturals. I actually uh, received Box Naturals in my very first Petit Vore box back in January, and I fell in love with them. They are biodegradable and free of parabens, dyes, petrochemicals, sulfates, and fragrances. So absolutely love this. This is perfect for if you want to like need a quick touch up during the day or to remove your makeup or if you touch something dirty and if you need a wipe, great. For that, I also have a couple vegan flosses in case I eat corn or something during the day and ugh, it broke, of course, but it comes um, individually wrapped can't believe my box broke and then the next thing i have is cuticle balm tough love i actually received this in my last pity war box and i don't really use it to be honest my cuticles are fine but it is good if i'm bored at work during the day i would typically just sit there and put some on my cuticles but I don't honestly can't tell a difference because my cuticles are fine. So I don't know, but I wouldn't repurchase, but I have it. So I'm going to use it. And then I hope you guys don't judge me, but I also have a nail clipper just because you never know when you'll need one. So that's all I have in my bag. Let me show you guys the inside of the bag. It does come with a removable strap. You can see my cat's ears, but it does come with a removable strap and you can wear it as a crossbody or you can just use it with the handles. So the inside of the bag, you have, I have pennies in there. So you have, I guess, three compartments. You have two larger compartments and then you have one that zips up and the zipped up one is the same depth as the two other compartments and yeah. A lot fits in here absolutely love it so that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did definitely give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys in the next one bye